Alright, so I'm going to teach you how to install Blur. Everything I know about Blur is going to be in this video. So pretty much, to get started, you're going to you're going to run my PowerShell script, uh, which does everything for you. So you're going to go and type PowerShell iram cl.quilla.tech. That's for downloading the customizable launcher, which uh, has my script on it. So you're just going to uh, type this command in Windows R. That's run. And type that command is in the description. Then you're going to have this little window right here, you can close it. Then you can do CLI Blur, just like this. It's going to install you Blur, simple as. Then it's going to run the script. It's going to get downloading the Blur installer, so uh, it can patch all the dependencies. Uh, blur is made in C++. It uses a VaporSynth, um, SVP Float Interpolate. I think it, I'm not sure how it resamples, because... Uh, haven't checked that, maybe I can add that to the description. Um, it also needs C++ runtimes to work. And it's open source, so you can check the code out if you want. So after you installed uh, the BlurConf1 installer, it's going to ask you for your GPU. I'm going to VM, so I'm going to type C, but I strongly suggest you type the the letter that fits the first name of your encoder. So I'm going to type C. Then it's going to add uh, teach you a little bit um, how to use BlurConf, but I'm gonna make a whole tutorial. That's the point of this video. So that's gonna open you Techno's Blur, which is not the same as that little add-on that I made. All right, so here I have a video. So how Blur works is simple. I'm gonna start out with Blur. I'm gonna continue with BlurConf one later. Okay, so I have Amin. This is a video MP4. You drag it in and nothing happens because you need to uh, make a configuration file. I strongly suggest if you're going to use it like this that you configure the blur config. There is two settings that are very important which are the blur amounts. So since this is not really made for like the default blur config is not made for Minecraft so I suggest you, can, you tweak it a little bit. Uh, I'm going to go through the blur config right now. So blur. What the, What is the term blur. So it's the name of the program and it's also the action of resampling your clip. So let's say you have um, a 480 FPS clip, it's going to resample it, it's going to render it, frame blend it, however you want to call it, to whatever FPS you want. So 60, 30, and there is the blur amount, which is kind of like the amount of blur that you want. Uh, and it's in, it's like if you want to put like 1, that's going to be 100% of your blur. If you put 0, have no blur. If you put 0 0.5, and have half of your blur. And if you put above, for example, 1.5 or like 1.3, which is kind of a sweet spot, is going to take blur that's like from more before. I'm not really sure how to call it. It's kind of awkward. But yeah, I'm going to just do 1 for now. Uh, if you if you like to render in 30, then you can put this to 30 or 45, 48. The blur weighting is like how you want the blur frames to appear. Uh, you can have like Gaussian, Gaussian symmetric. It's like mathematical, f math, math, mathematics stuff. I don't know, I'm bad at that. Anyways, interpolation. This is the FPS you want uh, to interpolate to. So let's say pretty much uh, if you want to, you can interpolate to 1200 FPS. So you just set it to 1200 FPS and set this to true. And if you do both blur and interpolation, it's going to interpolate to 1200 FPS and then render in 60 FPS, or blur, or frame blend, however you want to call it. I think I'm just going to call it frame blend. Um, you know, this is the time scale. If you want your your clips to be sped up a bit, for example, if you want to have, you know, 1.05, I know, by reds, um, some French YouTubers like to have their clips a little bit sped up. You can't really do that since the clips are pre-rendered, so you can do it from here. Uh, this just explains itself. If you want to have a little bit of color grading, I guess it's pretty basic, but it's here for you if you want to. Advanced rendering. If you use GP, if you use BlurConf, you don't really have to set that up uh, because it's already it already asked you uh, what GP you wanted in the installation. I'm gonna cover that later. But if you're gonna use it this way with the Technos Blur, um, you put that to true. You put your GPU. For custom FFmpeg filters, I haven't really touched that yet, but I'll probably make an update on the Discord. For advanced blurs, like some advanced stuff, I'm not even I'm, even me. I'm not sure what that does. Right there, if you go under GitHub, 
So this is Technos GitHub with all the documentation for it. If you want to install it yourself, for example, you can do that here. And here uh, you have Blur Waiting if you are interested in that. And I think, yeah, Blur Waiting. This is where the terms are for this complex waiting stuff. I'm not really good at that. So I'm not going to cover that for now. Uh, for Advanced Interpolation, if you're going to interpolate, that's where you want to go and tinker. So pretty much for now, there's SVP, SVP Flow, which is uh, a much faster way to interpolate your videos. I guess I can call it an algorithm. Rife uh, is for Rife CUDA, which is for NVIDIA GPUs. For now, Rife and Rife and CNN, I'm not sure if they're implemented. I want to make an, an update on the Discord for now, but the um, the Blur installer does not come with this yet for blur speed tuning and algorithm so interpolation speed is going to uh, cover uh, how fast the interpolation is going to be so if you want a faster interpolation but you don't care about the accuracy for example if you go really high fps you don't really care how accurate the frames are because it's the frames is, the frame times are so tight that it doesn't matter you can put fast or faster i'm going to leave it at default because I like to do, for example, my input at like 300, 480 FPS, so I like to keep it accurate. Uh, for interpolation tuning, you have film, you have smooth. I'm not really an expert at that. For now, I like to use smooth and algorithm. Um, you have 2, 13, and 22. I like to use 2. There is more information on the GitHub here. Enter frame 2, which is what it uses to interpolate. There is Right here you can see uh, what kind of tune you want. Uh, a little bit more explanation on the speed. And right here you can see uh, the algorithm for interpolating. So it's going to give you a different type of, uh, of algorithm. Um, it's going to interpolate your video a bit differently. I'm not exactly sure. I, I just used to and recommend to. I made a little tour of Technos Blur. That's cool. But I want to show you what I made for it to make it more convenient. So let's say you have, uh, you've have you recorded an OBS and you have a few clips, okay? And you want to uh, interpolate or resample, you just want to use blur on them pretty much, you want to queue them. You just select them, or if you have, for example, a select few clips, you're going to hold control and click the ones you want to pick. Let's say you don't want that one. Well, you just hold control and you can pick, it's like tick and untick the ones you want to use. So you can just do that, and then you right click them send to blur conf so this is gonna uh, send these videos into this batch file which you can only access from here so static conf mean means um, a static configuration because every time you're going to be using blur i think did i put it here yeah if you're not going to be using blur it's going to take the blur config from the same folder as the input video so for example if i drag a folder if i drag this video which is in the videos folder it's not going to find this it's going to create another one in this folder it's a per it's like it's in this it needs to be in the same folder as the input video as you can see it didn't find it it's going to make another one here i'm not going to i'm going to have to fill it again and it's an annoying process because you're going to have to replace and uh, make sure you're using the right blur config when you're going to change folders. If you're organized and have different folders, let's say you have like all your clips for this video or put here, you can have to remake one and it's annoying. You need to keep them in sync if you always use the same settings. So to fix that, I made blur conf and uh, when you open it, you can press E. That opens you uh, the blur conf static and it already comes with um, some little changes. For example, the order of the interpolation settings, for example, everything is right here compared to this one, which have some stuff that I don't really think are important. For example, for example, the time scale, it's here, but we don't need it to be way at the top. And I think these settings are quite important to put at the top that, because that's what you're going to mess with the most. And uh, you don't need to mess with these because blur conf already makes takes the job of replacing them so if you're going to click if you click b for blur it's going to turn that to true and turn that to false if you be interpolating true false if you need to do both of them true true so you don't need to mess with these now that you know how to use it you can just select the videos you want to use you press b for example
If you have any other questions or think that I missed anything in this video, I strongly suggest you go on the Discord and let me know about it and I'll add it in the description.